popping, boys. I want y'all to ask y'all selves a question. Like, how much work are you actually putting in, bro? Or are you just tricking yourself, bro? Because I think a lot of guys, y'all neglect the grind. And see, the problem with neglecting the grind is when you deal it with women, when you in this dating market, you are setting yourself up to lose, bro. Here's the reality. The reality is any bit of information that can be used against you, any bit of like ammo that you give women to use to disqualify you, bro, is going to be used to do such, right? It's gonna be used so that she can gain leverage and gain value because here's the name of the game, leverage and value, bro. See, the thing is when you are grinding, when you on your grind, when you got what you need to do, going for yourself and you are trying to get yourself together, bro, you are not going to be able to be touched by those things, bro. But when she got this information on you, when she know you have a weakness, bro, you ain't got a car so you can't drive around, but she do got a car, bro. She's going to leverage that every single single time and use it against you every single time that's why some of y'all in the situation y'all in you're living with your girl you ain't got no money you ain't got no job you ain't got nothing in your pocket but you want to be the the highest value male you want to be the one who in a dominant position you want her to be submissive when the reality is ain't no woman in the world ain't no person in the world gonna be submissive to you bro and you ain't got nothing going for yourself bro here's the thing when you on level one and she on level three why would she she respect you bro any video game will tell you somebody on level three can most likely beat somebody on level one so where is the respect coming from a lot of guys y'all like how can i get her to fall in love with me kaden bro how can i get her to respect me how can i get her to do this and that and this but bro she ain't gonna do none of that if you don't got this baseline bro if you don't have a foundation to stand on how you gonna feed anybody if you ain't got a table to feed them on bruh and that's what grinding does for you bro when you embrace the grind when you decide i'm going to get everything that belongs to me you start to get a different energy about you you start to get a different mindset you start to approach things differently you start to talk to people differently because guess what guess what you ain't gonna do you're not gonna allow people to take advantage of you you're not going to allow a woman to talk to you any kind of way. You're not going to allow a woman to take up your time when she is not doing anything to earn that time from you because that time is going to be spent grinding. That time is spent becoming the highest value version of yourself. That time is spent going to get the things in your life that are important to building your foundation, bro, and making sure you never get to the point that when you fall, you go rock bottom. See, that's so important because a lot of guys, y'all fall rock bottom and then everything fall apart for you, right? Everything. And then you wonder why you lost your girl. You wonder why she ain't stick around. You wonder why you can't you can't get back into the dating scene and you can't get new girls because you never had a foundation, bro. So when you fail, you hit rock bottom and you had to start over over and over again you gotta start over because you will fail and fall over and over again as a man that's why it's so important to grind out and get this foundation that i'm talking about because each time you fall your foundation built a little bit higher like your your, your ladder the ladder rung that you fall from you a little bit higher bro and so each time you go up you go a little bit higher as a man so it's this this concept of taking two steps back but three steps forward, bro. And that's what you always want to be doing. Even when you escalating with these women, what you want to do? You want to take one step back, two steps forward, bro. That's what you always want to be doing so that you eventually get to the goal. But she is never going to give you the energy that you want if you not grinding and improving as a man. You want to know why self-improvement is so important, bro? You want to know why? It, because it's the only weapon we have to truly battle against them in this like esoteric, almost like this, this, this philosophical war that we fighting right 
Because to me, I don't see it as we going against women, bro. I think we live and we coexist with women. I think women are a part of us, bro. I think women make us better as men, bro. But we can't have that unless we already at a certain baseline as men, bro. But the only weapon we have in this war, in this in this society that puts her on a pedestal naturally, bro. So she, you are naturally behind the eight ball when you start out with these women. You naturally behind the eight ball when she left you. You naturally behind the eight ball when you're trying to get the woman. You are naturally behind. She's starting off with 10 points on the board, bro, and you got to catch up. The weapon that you have against her, bro, the advantage that you have against her is your resources. The advantage that you have against her is your ability to, to gain game. And it's, and it's a combination of these two things that make hypergamy work, bro. And when that works, bro, you can use it to your advantage. But if you can't use that to your advantage, bro, you don't really have much to use to your advantage, my dude. If you ain't out here working and getting it, bro, you always have to worry about, I mean, let's just be honest. This the world we live in. If you ain't out here getting it, you always got to worry about the dude who is getting it, bro. Deciding one day that he wants your girl. Deciding one day that he wants your spot. And guess what? He going to get your spot. You want to know why he going to get your, even for women who quote unquote don't cheat, bro, she'll leave you for that kind of guy, bro. She'll leave you for the guy who on what he need to be on. You want to know why? Because she know just as well as you do that it's a guy out there who wants your spot. Now that don't mean you gotta be what you what. That don't mean you gotta be this six figure dude already. That don't mean you gotta have it all already, bro. But you have to at least be working towards that thing, right? You have to at least be passionate towards getting that thing, bro. And for everyone who look at you to know without a doubt you walking in that direction, not just talking about it, bro. You walking it, bro. And when you got that energy, bro, she start to buy in. She start to believe in what you building like an NBA franchise, bro. When you doing a rebuild, everybody like, oh, they suck as a team. But it's like, oh, they got young players. They rebuilding. They getting to it, right? And people respect those teams. It's the same principle when you building as a man, when you working, bro, when you grinding, when you grinding as a man, bro, you automatically garner respect from these women out here, bro. She's automatically going to respect you because at the very least, even if you don't have it, bro, even if you fail down, you are working to get it. So she has something to believe in. Why you think all these women, oh, he got the potential to be, she wanna know she changed you. That's what they all wanna do. She want to know she helped build you. She want to know she helped write your story, bro. That's what they attracted to. They want to be in a love story. So if you could build that image, bro, if you could sell that dream, the easiest way to do it is to grind. It's no downside to grinding as a man, bro. But it is all the downside to not grinding as a man. Stand still, stagnation. And all of that, bro. We ain't doing that over here, bro. We not. Subscribe, man. Hit that video. I'm out of here, bro. It's your boy, Kane the Rake, nigga.